God is good. Hallelujah. All the time. Man, I miss you, church family. Praise God. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. And it's all because Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after I know many of you are like, man, you done lost it. And praise God. Hallelujah. I am foolish for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As you can see up on the screen over my shoulder, that is the kingdom of Disney, right? The happiest place on earth. I've been there. It ain't. Believe you me, it ain't. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know how they get away saying that. You and I both know the happiest place, hallelujah, on earth is the Holy of Holies. Amen. And glory to God, if you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, oh, my goodness. God is only one good, hallelujah, our perfect agape Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus Christ said so. Hallelujah. God is only one good. Amen. And glory to God that the Holy Spirit dwells within us in every breath. Amen. Listen, our Heavenly Father will never let you go. He'll never forsake you. All because Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Can you say that with me? Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. I know we have some that are joining us um, online as far as on our YouTube and uh, Facebook page. And we just want to say thank you so much for coming together with us. Listen, we are one body, Lord Jesus Christ, anointed through the anointing of God himself, his Holy Spirit. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Pray with me, and we're just going to go boldly to the throne of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And let's bless God. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ, Father God. We thank you, Father, that you spoke your word over our life for all of eternity. And Lord Jesus Christ, we know that you are the word of God. And thank you, Father, for speaking that word through Christ our Lord, and that your word doesn't come back void, because Holy Spirit, you live in every one of your beloved children who believes in Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father God, I plead your blood over this worship service and every worship service, Father, that you have all the glory, honor, praise, Lord Jesus Christ. That we only go to you, Father God. We go through no man here on earth. We only go through you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are the Holy One, that you are our teacher. There's no other teacher, Father. So, Father God, rebuke me. Rebuke me, Father God. Rebuke Joey Corrigan. And Father, I pray that your anointing, Holy Spirit, your anointing, would speak your living word through my mouth, Father. We rebuke all pride, Father God. We know, Father, that it's never the one speaking. It's you who speaks through them, Father God. So, Father, thank you so much for your blood that was spilled on Calvary's cross through your perfect, beloved Son, your only Son, the only way, the only truth, the only life. Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, thank you that all your angels, we ask for help, Father. Help us, O Lord. Help us, O Lord. Heal us, O Lord, Father God. Help us. And Holy Spirit, we know you're doing it right now from within. And Father, thank you that all your angels are around us fighting. Father, thank you that victory is already ours, all because of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Father, we worship you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Father God. We bind up every demonic thing in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We plead your holy blood, Father. And Father, we thank you so much that we loose your anointing, your healing, your miraculous breakthrough. Father, we know it is all because of your presence, Father. And we just thank you for it. In Jesus Christ's name, and all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Oh, hallelujah. Miss you guys so, so much. I know you all know that. Oh, my goodness. Praise God. God's good all the time. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. We rejoice. Praise God. And don't you feel it? Amen. Don't you feel it in your bones? Oh, my goodness. That God's presence is flowing mightily. Amen. And hallelujah. Though the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy... Hallelujah, we have Lord Jesus Christ. And not only do we have life for eternity, but we also have this abundant life. How do we live this abundant life? It's in complete submission to the Holy Spirit and allowing God to live 
through me. Say that with me. I allow God to live through me. And I'll tell you right now, there ain't no gooder than that, amen? That God can use you in every, in every, say it with me, every, in every gift that Holy Spirit wants to flow through you. And glory to God, I know who I'm talking to. God is head over heels in love with you. Hallelujah, God is for you. Amen, last time I checked when God is for you, who can be against you? <laughs> Amen? Nothing. Nathan, right? Nathan. Hallelujah. So let's get into this praise God. We're going to be in three books today. Matthew 7, verse 21 to 23. James 1, 22 to 27. And then we're going to close it up in Psalm 68, verse 5. If you're ready, say amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our amen shakes heaven. Glory to God. Our amen is that we stand in agreement. So be it. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. When we say amen, so be it. Holy Spirit is God. When we say amen, our God, our Father is a good and perfect Father. Hallelujah. When we say amen, we call upon all of heaven. Can I get an amen? All of heaven. Just to say, Daddy, help me. Amen. And God says, I got you. Praise God. You can hear the Father saying, I got you. Glory to God. Amen. Listen, if you're with your spouse, if you're uh, whoever you're with, just give them a high five. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Matthew 7. You know we're going to get deep. Praise God. It's Saturday night, so I know we, we normally get deep on Saturday. Amen. Say it with me. It's okay. Hallelujah. It's okay. We're going to get deep. Praise God. We're going to get deep because Holy Spirit said that we have to prepare everybody before that trumpet sounds. Can I get an amen? Glory to God. So don't you love it how Holy Spirit, in all his messages, how he not only preaches out of agape, out of his love for you, and his thoughts towards you, and how he feels towards you, his view and opinion. Remember, that's his glory, amen? And remember, it's all because of Lord Jesus Christ. He demonstrated it. Amen? He demonstrated it when he was walking on this earth. God's glory. Oh, hallelujah. See, this isn't a religious glory. Oh, glory. No! This is glory of the Father in the Son. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Who's your daddy? Right? Who's your daddy? My daddy is God Almighty. Amen? <laughs> my daddy is God Almighty because my Lord and Savior, my God, hallelujah, died for me. Died for me. See, this is when it becomes so intimate in your relationship with God Almighty because it doesn't matter what anybody else says or does or thinks or says, right? It don't matter. All that matters is how you bless Lord Jesus Christ. And boy, when you start blessing Lord Jesus in thanksgiving and rejoicing, amen, and speaking life, Holy Spirit says, my child, my beloved, not only are you blessing God with oh, Mufasa moments, amen, oh, but you're blessing God in such a way that Holy Spirit continues to anoint you in a fresh anointing, amen, call it with me, fresh fire from heaven. Say it with me, Father, thank you for a fresh fire through your Holy Spirit within me, amen, let's get started, praise God. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, you know as we pause there in all the words, because God says this, not everyone who says to Jesus, Lord, Lord, see, th th this, is, this is a hard message now, and I ask for your prayer at home, I ask for your prayer regardless of what time it is, if, you, if you're watching this on a Saturday night, or if you're watching this Sunday Monday, it don't matter. I ask for your prayer that Holy Spirit is glorified. Amen? That we worship Lord Jesus Christ, and as we worship Lord Jesus Christ in that relationship that God always wanted with us. Can you, can you see that? Huh? Can I get an amen? The relationship that our Father God always wanted with us, right from the time of the garden, Right? Let me ask you this. Since when was God not enough? Yeah, you can probably see my shirt that says just Jesus. Amen? Right? Since when was that not enough? But unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, Adam. Right? Adam was disobedient. 
Yeah, I went straight to that. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible calls it out. Right? It was because of the first sin. It wasn't enough just fellowshipping with God. He got busy. Became a busybody. Right? Ignoring his beloved wife. God's beloved daughter. Ignoring her. Just got busy. I don't know what I don't know what he was doing. Praise God. And the Holy Spirit will tell you. Have great, a great conversation with God about this. But then what happened? Sin entered, right? And it broke up what God intended. And God says, no more. You know how God said no more? Through his blood. Hallelujah. Through his perfect sacrifice, Lord Jesus Christ. Say it with me, no more. Hallelujah, no more. All because of the perfect one, Lord Jesus Christ, who lives on the inside. If you truly have Jesus Christ as Lord, you know that I am paid for in full through his blood. And he is perfect and righteous, not I, but Lord Jesus Christ is, and he lives in me. And it's in this anointing and Holy Spirit where you just want to bless God continuously. Fellowship, right? It's a relationship, amen? And glory to God is in that relationship where you know, not only when you call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ, and you know that Heavenly Father answers you through the anointing, say that with me, anointing, through the anointing of Holy Spirit in you and me, you know it, you, you hear His voice, you feel His presence. He rebukes sickness, He rebukes pain, He rebukes this world in Jesus' name. It's only through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ now, God's blood, hallelujah. And when we have this relationship, you know that not only when I call upon you, Lord, you answer me, ab above all, most importantly, come on now, the gooder and gooder is that God knows you. Hallelujah. Let's give God a praise, amen. Say it with me, God knows me. Amen. Does he know your birthday? Does he know your social security number? Huh? Does he know everybody? Yes, he knows everybody. Amen. That you are associated with. Why? Because God is jealous over you. God is head over heels in love with you. Amen. Say with me, God loves me. Hallelujah. God loves me. So not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. How do you know the will of the Father who is in heaven? Well, just like we said earlier, our Holy Spirit just flowed through us right now in worship. Right? When you call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ says, mine. Right? Glory to God looks at the Father. The Father says, so be it. Amen. Breathes. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit breath. Amen. Holy Spirit now resides in you. The Word of God says that when Lord Jesus Christ sends the Advocate, the Comforter, the Holy One, amen, to reside in you for all of eternity, He don't speak what He just want to speak. He speaks agape. Hallelujah. Who is agape? Right? Amen. That was easier. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Where does agape reside? Amen. Hallelujah. And so this is how you know you do the will of the Father when you're consistently, be, remember, being consistent in thanking God for Lord Jesus. Have you ever met somebody crunchy being thankful? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't in all my life. Everyone who's thankful, they're always like this. <laughs> thank, I just want to say thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, thank you, right? Thank, I, thank you. It don't make sense. Right? Thank you. It, it, it doesn't make sense. That's even harder to, to act out. Thank you. Right? They're always like, oh, thank, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you. Not only can you see it on their expression, you could feel it, hallelujah, through agape. You could feel it. Amen? Because remember, this is the power of a child of God. Rejoice! There's your power. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Praise God. So this is the kingdom of Disney. Amen. The kingdom of Disney. And look, you can see the castle. You can see the characters, right? Let, let, let's go ahead and move closer. Right? And there's Mickey. 
Goofy, right? Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, right? I know them, right? I know them. Hey, Mickey, how you doing, right? Mickey, Goofy, right? I know them. But guess what? In order to get in, you must go through. Can I get an amen? In order to get into the kingdom of Disney, you must go through, right? Look, I could stand right there and I could look at Mickey Mouse and Mickey Mouse can look at me, right? And Mickey Mouse just, I don't know if Mickey waves like that, but you know, he's like, hey. And I'm like, hey, Mickey, I know you. From when I was little, I know you, Mickey, right? Does that make me in the kingdom? Because I, I did this? Hmm? No, it doesn't. Because you must go through the admission gate, right? Pay your $200, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not trying to be funny. I really don't know. I don't know what it is now. Pay whatever it is, and then you have to go through that gate, right? This is the will. Say it with me. This is the will of Disney. That yeah, you show up, you're excited to see the mouse and the duck and Goofy the dog, right? You're so excited to see all that. But the will of Disney is you have to go through admission because they got to collect, right? They got to collect that payment, right? I mean, they got to validate and make sure that you pay. And yeah, and then you can go ahead and take selfies with Disney or do whatever, amen? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of but only the one who does the will of my Father. Beloved church family, this is the will of our Father God. Amen. This is the will of our Father God. Say it with me, truth. He is the truth, the way, and the life. He is the truth. Amen. He is the truth. That if you want to have Holy Spirit for the remainder of your days, of your life here on earth and for all of eternity in heaven, right? If you want to be an eternal being, here's the truth. You have to have Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Here's the truth. If you want the enemy to stop in his tracks where he cannot steal, kill, and destroy, right? Because God says, I come to give you life and have it more abundantly. Here's the truth. You have to have Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? If you want to know the way to live a victorious life and to overcome through the blood of God, here's the truth. It only comes through Lord, say his name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord. Now check this out. The word of God is saying, church, is it just a few that will say? No. No. I'm trembling in fear right now because God is saying, I ordained you, you said yes, and I'm going to hold you accountable, Joey, that you preach this word and you make sure all my church, my holy church knows exactly where I'm, where I'm standing in my heart and when I speak this word. Many the word of God is saying many are deceived right now. Many, many people are standing outside of Disney, right? Outside of Disney going, Mickey, Goofy, hey, Donald Duck, hey, hey, it's me. But they're standing outside, right? And look at what Lord Jesus says. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not, listen to this, prophesy in your name? Oh my goodness, there's so many false prophets right now. It's scary. But listen, this is what they're telling Lord Jesus at that very moment. Did we not prophesy in your name, Lord? And in your name, did we not drive out demons? And in your name, did we not perform many miracles? See, many of us have to understand this and realize it. Some of us are going to hear this for the first time right now. That you are not the one doing the miracles. It's his name. What is his name? Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Say his name with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Here is God telling, here, flashing lights. Warning. Eh, 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 eh. Warning. If you think that you did something special, if you think that you did this, if you think that your ministry did this, if you think that your preaching did this, if you think that this, rebuke that in Jesus' name. Because it's the name above every name. This is how holy our God is now. When you say the name of Lord Jesus Christ, expect breakthrough. Expect blessings. Expect demons to run. You know why? They don't want to get their heads cut off. Expect it. But it's the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see, far too often, as humans, we tend to try to get lazy and religious with God. That one time long ago, I called on you, Lord. I felt your anointing, your presence. I know that I'm saved, and that's where... Can I tell you? If that's where you're at, I challenge you. Where is your relationship with the Holy Spirit? See, I throw myself under the bus because I was deceived that way. I kept heaping condemnation on myself. I was doing the devil's work on myself. How did I do that? I got religious with God. I chased after all the things that one I, I felt good about. Oh, let's go do an orphanage. Let's go feed the hungry. Don't get me wrong. All those things are great. But my heart was, I wanted to build myself up and not Holy Spirit. And what happened over time? More condemnation, more guilt, more insecurity. Once again, it just had to come to the point in my relationship with God where I had to fall on my face. Or I had to ask God to forgive me. Forgive me for, for, for hurting his beloved daughter, my wife, Trish. Forgive me. I mean, that's first and foremost now. If you're a husband, that's first and foremost now. Your relationship with God Almighty. Is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Is Holy Spirit living in you in every breath? Hallelujah. Are you walking out your anointing in God through obedience? You know why I ask you that? Because Holy Spirit wants to know, then let me see the fruit, if you're a married man of God, in how you treat your wife. Hallelujah. The same applies to a godly daughter if you're married. You can't claim to be a child of God and be all in this relationship with the God babe, but then you lash out at each other, right? That's not God. And right now, God is exposing that, going, give that to me. Drop on your knees, on your face, give that to me. Amen? Take it to the altar of God and offer it to him. I'm going to tell you right now, God's going to say, well done, my faithful servant. Well done. Thank you for giving that to me. Now watch what I will do, because you release, you let go of that pride. Amen? I pray that over you. I pray that over myself. Every day, Father, change me. Renew my mind, Father. I don't want to hurt you, Holy Spirit. Help me, O Lord. Say it with me. Help me, O Lord. Does this world not need God's help right now? Well, guess what? It starts within. Amen? It starts within. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Amen? Hallelujah. In, say it with me. In your name. And glory to God, we have the name above every name. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 23, I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Right? And that's just like the example I showed you earlier. Right? If I'm behind the gates, the admission gates, if I'm behind there, right? Did it pay nothing? Right? Mickey! Right? <laughs> I know you. Right? What happens if I just go ahead and break through? This ain't me now. Don't start no rumors. That's not me. I know, I know it kind of looks like it. I don't know if you can see it. That ain't me. But look. Right? 
Disneyland police will lock you up. I never knew you, away from me, you evildoers, right? In order to get in, you must go through. Say that word with me, through. Hallelujah, through. You know this word is so simple, through. But let me, let, let me say this, family. It's one of the hardest things to trust. Can I say that again? It's one of the hardest things to trust. Because many want to have a testimony for God, but no one wants to go through anything. Can I say that again? You want to have a testimony, but, oh, I don't want to go through something. But last time I checked, in order to have a testimony, you have to go through something, right? Can I get a hallelujah? Praise God. And God wants to pull us through this season of all this deception of the enemy. God wants to pull us through this season. Do you agree with me? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why? Because Jesus Christ is on the throne. Amen. We belong to him and we are in his body. Hallelujah. We are in his body. Hallelujah. And the anointing of God is in us and goes before us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. Praise God. So remember, in order to go into the kingdom of Disney, right, you have to have your admission ticket. Amen. Paid for it. And then in order to get through that gate, you have your little ticket, right? And guess what they do? They validate it. Can I get an amen? I paid for it and I'm validating. Got my little Disney ticket with Mickey Mouse on it. Go through the gate, hand it over to the person. Or in this case, they got a scanner now. I ain't been in so long, so forgive me. I don't know. And you scan the card. That thing goes green. You're good to go. Praise God. If it's red... Something's wrong, right? And see, this is the anointing the Holy Spirit wants to minister to all of us. The will of God is, is that we all call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ. This is the absolute truth. Now, beloved church family, let's be reminded. Lord Jesus Christ died for the entire world. It wasn't just for a select few. No, religion likes to teach that. There, there, there's all kinds of, of, of just pagan religions that, that, that are trying to preach that. God sacrificed his perfect son for every soul that is willing to receive that payment. Can I get an amen? Paid in full. Say it with me. I am paid in full. Hallelujah. Now this is the beauty. When you're paid in full, there's still an accountability for your relationship with God Almighty. Can I get an amen? Right? There's still a relationship required from God Almighty because remember, God is a good and perfect Father. He wants to be your Father. Amen? I pray in Jesus' name that there's some of you that's, that's watching this right now and you've been running away from Lord Jesus that tonight's the night where you say, I'm done. Oh my goodness. God, you're good and perfect. The devil's the one that's bad and garbage. Amen. The devil's the one. That's the devil's name, coronavirus, right now. That's the devil's name right now, coronavirus. If people would just stop calling it coronavirus and call it Satan, call it the devil. And hallelujah, I guarantee you, Lord Jesus would come back boom like that. You know why? Because people's scales would fall off their eyes and go, oh my gosh, they're not calling this coronavirus no more. They're calling this Satan. Which means that the only one that could Defeat Satan, the only one that laid the smack down on Satan, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. So right now, hallelujah, I just call upon you, Lord Jesus Christ. Help me, forgive me, Lord. And you can feel it right now, Holy Spirit's like, yes, yes. And glory to God, all this right now would stop. And I guarantee you in the name of Jesus, you would have just millions just coming. To worship God and go, oh, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Hallelujah. So the question is, are you paid for? Through the only one, the only perfect one. The only perfect one, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Are you paid for through Christ? You say yes, hallelujah. Glory to God, I pray you say yes. 
Now let me ask you this. Are you validated through Holy Spirit? Huh? Right now, the reason for this message and the reason for this beautiful twist, Holy Spirit wanted to put up Disney there and just, you know, make it look so. But Holy Spirit says, my church needs to know that without me, it will do nothing. And Holy Spirit is saying, but with me, you will do great things. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Did you receive that? Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. Say it with me. Holy Spirit, anoint me in the overflow in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Say it with me. Believe and speak. Glory to God. Brother Howard Lee, our elder here. He planted the seed a long time ago. He said, you know what would be nice on a Saturday night is if you could plug something in, if, if God allows you, if you could plug something in for Sunday morning worship service. And this is what Holy Spirit did right now. Believe and speak. Amen. James 1 says, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Say that again. Do not merely just listen to the word and to deceive yourself. Remember what I confessed to you earlier just throwing myself under the bus. This is one of the ways I deceive myself, not the devil, I. You see, we, we far too often want to blame Satan when Satan, with the child of God, you have Jesus Christ as Lord, you have Holy Spirit living in you. Satan himself, you need to see this now, Satan himself is like this. Oh. Kind of like that bird that don't want to fly that cartoon. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Do you hear me, church? So what does the enemy hope that you do? That you deceive yourself. That I deceive myself. And how was I deceiving myself? I just listened to the word so that it got trapped up here. But I didn't allow the word of God to go right here. And to be obedient to how God was speaking to me. And to walk in fellowship, in relationship, in worship. To Holy Spirit, I did my own thing. So here in, in, in the book of James, it says this. Don't just merely, merely listen to the word and deceive yourself. Do what it says. God is saying, listen, you receive the word of God who is Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, because he is the word, amen. So you receive Jesus Christ as Lord. You have the word now. But then what? I started using the written Bible as a God. And all I did was feed myself what I wanted to feed myself rather than what God wanted to feed me. But glory to God, when that broke off, and how did it break off? Pastor, tell me, how does it break off? Repent! I had to finally say, I don't want this. How is it, God, that I call myself a Christian, I call myself your child, but I'm crunchy? I'm getting bound up and addicted with things. I'm lashing out at, at your daughter, my wife. I'm not flowing out of agape, out of love for other people. I'm just arguing and, 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 and fighting with people. I'll tell you, just like Holy Spirit told me, Holy Spirit said, it's not me, it's the enemy. Holy Spirit says, you want me, but you worship yourself. You want me, but you want to do what you want to do. I just got on my face. I pray that for you. Because if you want to live victoriously, hallelujah, if you want to live this abundant life, if you want to live in the freedom that only Holy Spirit can bring, only through Christ our Lord, it has to start with repentance, submission. Amen? It has to start with, Father, I'm sorry. And again, amen? Hallelujah. Let's continue on. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says, check this out. It's like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself, goes away and immediately, say it with me, immediately, immediately forgets what he looks like. Right here in the Word of God, it's showing you the fruit of a double-minded person. Of someone who built their wisdom, 
their knowledge, their ministry on sand. Can I say that again? Sand. Not on the cornerstone, the cornerstone, the only one, Lord Jesus Christ. Just like what Pastor John said the other day, Open Arms Community Church is built on only Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a hallelujah? Amen? This is your church body now. We are built on the cornerstone, on the rock himself. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But look at what this says right here. If you do not do what I'm telling you to do, this is, this is a Christian now that's saying, Jesus Christ, you are Lord. Jesus Christ says, okay, you are mine, Holy Spirit. And then Holy Spirit starts speaking to this child. But guess what? They don't want to do what Holy Spirit says to do. Disobedient. Rebellious, prideful, right? And then what happens? Well, look, like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and looking at himself goes away immediately and forget. How silly is that? Huh? Try it later on. Look in the mirror, look away, and then you forget. The Bible's saying that if you do not listen to what Holy Spirit is saying for you to do and do it in faith, you will be double-minded, which means the way you speak from the Holy of Holies is going to contradict the Word of God that is living in you. And there will be an inner war from your mind and your heart and continuously fighting to make you even more double-minded. And the Word of God says this, if you don't believe and you doubt, don't expect anything from God. And right now, this is where God is charging His Holy Church. Do we believe? Hallelujah. Say amen. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord. Hallelujah. Do I believe that Holy Spirit is my God? I believe. Say with me. I believe. Holy Spirit, you are my God. And glory to God, when you say you believe Holy Spirit is my God, guess what? God will start downloading. God will start exposing things that does not belong. Can I get a hallelujah? And now it's up to us to obey. Praise God. Say that word with me. Obey. Amen. But whoever, oh, I love this. Whoever looks intently, come on now, to the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in all they do. Can I get an amen? Say with me, that's me. Praise God. Come on, say it to our Heavenly Father. That's me, Father God. Hallelujah, that's me, Father. All I want is your presence in my life. Hallelujah. All I want is God's presence, Holy Spirit presence, to overflow, God Almighty, to overflow in every soul. Amen. In every soul, in all of Open Arms Community Church, in every worshiper that is planted, I pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That God himself, his presence, overflows from the Holy of Holies. And my goodness, that his presence shines through you brighter this moment than ever before in Jesus' name. You receive that? Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. I love this word, looks intently. Woo. When you look intently into a God thing, look intently, that's like this. Don't you love that? When you look intently. See, this is beyond focus now. Because we're talking about agape. And you're continuously looking intently into agape. Hallelujah, the perfect father. How much God loves you. Huh? How perfect our Lord Jesus Christ is. How merciful he is. How forgiving he is. The grace of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, when you look intently in this, this is the beauty. When you focus this way on agape, your identity, here's the word behind me saying this. You will not forget what you heard. And Holy Spirit will continue to do a mighty work through you in Jesus' name. Amen. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues, deceive themselves and their religion is, say that word with me, worthless. So God makes it clear. It's black and white up there on that screen. 
that you could claim you're non-denominational, you could claim that you're agape, you can claim that you're Baptist, you're Catholic, Presbyterian, Methodist, you can claim whatever you want to claim, but if, if you don't keep a tight rein on your mouth, God says it's worthless. Religion that God, our Father, accepts as pure and faultless is this. Notice there's an and. I like to call this the bean and cheese burrito. Yes. Bean and cheese burrito. You know like, why I like to call it? There's an and. Check this out. To look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Amen. So if God, our Father, orders a bean and cheese burrito, what are you going to make sure that's, that's in it? Bean and cheese. And that's the bean and cheese right there. To look after orphans, that's the bean. And the cheese is widows in their distress. Bean and cheese. Say that with me. Bean and cheese. But here's the tortilla part that wraps it all together. And, and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Right? Isn't it, isn't it incredible how simple the word of God is? Because Lord Jesus Christ made everything so simple. That's why religious people hated him. That's why they killed him. Because here's the perfect son of God come, leave heaven, right? Come to earth and just preach. God's a good father. He loves you. He's for you. He just wants to be with you. I am in him. He is in me. Right? This is how intimate God is. And God wants us to be intimate with him. Can I get an amen? Nothing changes. The relationship that Lord Jesus Christ taught as he walked this earth is exactly what we should imitate, what we should be doing as children of God, amen? Keep oneself from being polluted by the world, amen? Could you imagine giving God a bean and cheese burrito with no tortilla shell? How are you going to hold that? You're just going to have a bunch of beans and cheese just oozing through your fingers, right? But well, my goodness, when you have that tortilla shell, praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. In Psalm 68, we're going to close with this. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows. Say this with me, is God. So wait a minute, Brother Joey. You just said to look out after orphans, to defend the widows. But here it is. This is it. This is who God is. He is a father to the fatherless, to orphans, and he's a defender of widows, is God. And this is to sum everything up. In his holy dwelling. Where is God's holy dwelling? Right now. Amen. I know we are one in Christ. I know many of you sit right here. Holy Spirit's right here. He dwells in me for all of eternity. So isn't it glorious of our Father? There's that word glory. Isn't it glorious of our Father? That all he's asking of you is to be intimate with him. To rejoice, to be thankful, to repent when needed. To ask God for forgiveness. To ask God for wisdom. Amen. And to move forward, shining the light of agape. And it's in his holy dwelling that God says, I will be the father to the fatherless. And I will be the defender of the widows. Automatically, because of the anointing that is in you. Through Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. So say it with me. I am paid for and validated. Say it again. I am paid for. Jesus Christ is Lord and validated. Holy Spirit is my God. Amen. Believe and speak. Can I get an amen? This is truly, truly our happiest moment. Right? It's not Disneyland. It's on that glorious day. Amen. But as you know, as a child of God, yes, yes, we anticipate our Lord Jesus Christ coming back for us. Yes, we can feel it in our bones. Yes, we talk about it all day, every day, every day, right? Yes, we know that this will take place. Amen. Oh, there's, there's my Bible. But remember, church family, we start living this abundant life now. Because the perfection of our Lord Jesus Christ is that it's no longer a place far, far, far away. 
the kingdom of heaven because of God's perfect sacrifice. His name is Lord Jesus Christ and the anointing of being validated through Holy Spirit, the kingdom of heaven, say with me, is in me. Hallelujah. I pray in Jesus' name that Holy Spirit lit a fire in you tonight. I thank God for your anointing. I thank God for the choice that you made to be a blessing unto Lord Jesus Christ. To be a blessing in rejoicing, to be a blessing in how you speak because of the power of the words that you speak. And to allow Holy Spirit to just shine through you and the anointing, the presence of God to stop all the enemy's plots and deception in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, that you love us. And thank you, Father, that you are for us. Thank you, Father God, that you bless us as the head, not the tail. That we are blessed coming and blessed going, Father God. That we are covered by your blood for all of eternity, Heavenly Father. Washed white as snow. And Holy Spirit, your anointing overflows like never before at this very moment, Father. And Heavenly Father, thank you for charging all your angels over us. Thank you, Father, for going before us and destroying the plots of the enemy. And thank you, Father God, for pushing evil far, far, far away. Thank you, Father God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, all because of your stripes, Lord Jesus Christ, that you bore on the cross for every one of your beloved children, Father. Thank you, Father, that you love us. Thank you, Father, for the generosity of your beloved church sowing their seed, their financial seed of worship unto you. Bless them, Father God, a hundredfold. And I thank you, Father God, that your blessings, like a mighty ocean, just keeps overwhelming us continuously, Father. And we thank you, Father, that as we worship you, Lord Jesus, and we call upon your sanctification, that your presence, Father God, just overflows and overwhelms us. Lord Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Father. We bless you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for going before us once again. And it's in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Please visit our website at oacchurch.com. Oacchurch.com. And uh, once again, we just want to say thank you. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all the prayers. Miss just seeing you guys. And um, praise God, all this will pass real soon. Glory to God. Just bless Holy Spirit. Amen. Say that with me before we close. Bless Holy Spirit. Love you guys. Mwah. God bless. Bye-bye.